All right, here's where we stand on our engine right now. Uh, Centrics are done. I see. Finished up. Let me see if I can get to where you can see it here. Hold it just a second. Okay. Finished up the pieces to, uh, to tighten down the uh, eccentrics, and uh, they're just sitting on there. They're not adjusted in any way yet. And the uh, machine these out, the slots out, as you can see. We've got the pins in. As you can see, these pins are going to hit each other, so ran into a little problem there. But what I'm going to do is cut these pins a little bit short. Put them in from this side and then weld the ends of them and go ahead and they'll be permanent. Uh, don't don't really want to do it, but you know, and there's other ways we could do it. We could thread it and but I think it'll look good with the with the rivet style. And then uh, I think we'll cut these off and uh, round them off a little bit. Because, you know, that's really that's nothing but another set of handles off of another old uh, hoof nipper, so but that's what I've got done so far, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and take these back off and take care of that problem, weld that up, so it's, you know that's done. And uh, we still got to get this one welded on, and I think we'll play with the timing a little bit. I think I'm going to try to put the old pulley back on it and belt it to my other steam engine and let it run a little bit with everything working and moving and that way we can uh, check everything out plus uh, you know I'll be able to let you see how it works a little better and uh, you know, yeah. I'll go ahead and get that done and maybe see if we can get it belted up and I'll show you more shortly. Now I'm going to run that engine for a little bit to seat the valves in. Like I said, I'm, I belted it to this engine, and the reason I'm doing that is if I hooked it to an electric motor, I couldn't control the speed. You know, it would be flying, and I want to be able to run it slow and check everything out. Make sure all the linkage is going to be fine and nothing binding or anything like that. And uh, I'll show you here shortly. I've uh, I got the belt on it. I just got it lined up where it'll stay on, and we'll fire it up and check it out. Okay, folks, I've got it sitting here turning off my other engine of belt. Uh, you can see I've just got it turning real slow. I don't want it to turn fast. And uh, you can get an idea how this valve train works on it. Got it all hooked up. Now, I haven't cut these off and shortened them up yet. And, uh, and I may not. You can see they look twisted. That's because they was... I guess when they was forged, they was forged that way. But... Uh, now I'm not running the pulley or the, the flywheel that I'm going to run on it. This is just a temporary flywheel because it's a flat flywheel and I've got a serpentine belt between the two of them. Uh, the one I actually uh, went ahead and uh, used some, uh, put some gas material there so I wouldn't scratch it, but I've got a piece slotted down to the bottom of my big drill press so it can't move. It's a lot lighter than this engine and uh, this one sort of self-locates from the weight but you can see my eccentrics working and I don't have it in time I've just uh, figured I'd break it in here a little bit see the levers moving I haven't welded all this and ground anything yet the only thing I gotta watch is, uh, is these pins make sure they don't fall out I haven't drilled them yet and uh, I need to put some oil on it I can tell you that already I think uh, I'll go ahead and put a little oil on there before I do any more. I'll turn back on in a minute. Okay, folks, I've got it all oiled up now. I should have oiled it before, but I've got to get too much oil. My pen's are sliding out. Uh, but you can see how everything works. The eccentric, the linkage. So we've got just about, you know, all that done. And uh, I'll try to get it slowed down a little bit where you can where you can see the. I've got one of them I know I need adjusted, and I think it's this one here. You can see it's uncovering this valve a lot farther than it's uncovering that one. 
I haven't adjusted much on, but I can do that from right here. And I don't have to put a set screw in that nut like I did on the last one because I've got it pinned. And uh, this one looks like it's going real good. Totally uncovering the front hole and uncovering the back hole. But uh, that's how it's going to work. And uh, my belt's on there. It's not on there good, but it's on there. Maybe it'll lap the valves in anyway. Moving right along. I had tightened this one down on the drill press, but that one there is heavy enough it's pretty much self-locating. But uh, with the linkage is basically done, I've still got to drill the holes in the eccentrics for the oil. Uh, you know, do some more adjusting on the on the valves and make sure I get them, you know, where they'll feed in good. But uh, I think it's going to work out fine. If it runs as good as this one, we'll be all right. But uh, I think next is uh, I'll finish up the little stuff I need to finish up, and we'll go ahead and start getting the the sonar ready when it comes to the putting the lead in the bottom, filling it up, and you know to take up a lot of that space. I'm not sure about these caps yet. I may take them off. Uh, I think they're concave, if I remember right. And if they are, I'll maybe weld a little nail head or something in there and pour them full of lead, and that'll take care of the extra space in that. And uh, if I weld a nail head in there, you know, with the head facing out, that'll give that lead something to grab to, and I won't have to worry about it ever moving out, coming out. And, uh, but I'm sure that engineer is going to run as good as this one, if not better. Uh, but appreciate you watching. Uh, I'm going to try not to bore you so much with some of the work and just show you what I get accomplished. And, but, uh, I just want to do enough to make sure anybody wants to do this will, uh, you know, see enough to be able to do it. So I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I appreciate everybody that has and everybody that comments. Uh, I enjoy it. Till next time. Bye.